Hi, welcome to my video on the definition of a normal line to a curve. The definition of a normal line to a curve. A line perpendicular to a tangent at the point of tangency P. So here I have a graph drawn, that's a parabola, and I have the point P marked right here. So if I draw a tangent at P, a tangent intersects at one point. So if I take the ruler and use a pencil, excuse me for my hand crossing there, and I'm going to draw a tangent at the point of B, a tangent cuts the curve at one point. So there's the tangent. And so it's it says that the line perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. So this is the point of tangency. This is the tangent. So perpendicular to that would be at right angles. And so let's say that's at right angles. So what we have is this is the tangent. And this is the normal. So the normal is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. Also, we have a, a cubic graph here. Notice this is a parabola with an extension. And this is the point. So if I draw the tangent at point P, tangent cuts the curve at one point. So it's cutting the curve at one point right there. And the normal is perpendicular to that at that point of tangency. So we make a right angle going through there. So there's. So what we have in this cubic curve, this is the tangent intersecting the curve at one point, and this line right here is the normal, and the normal is perpendicular to the tangent. So the normal and the tangent have slopes which are negative reciprocals of each other. And here I have drawn a reciprocal curve, a reciprocal function. It has a, a, a vertical tangent, sorry, a ver vertical line, because the denominator is equal to zero, so that's the vertical asymptote. So here's the curve, and we want to find a, the normal line at point P again. We draw a tangent at point P that hits the curve at one point. There it is. That's the tangent. And we draw perpendicular to that right here at the point P. And this is, and to mark that again, so we have a tangent that intersects the curve at one point P. And this is the normal, which is perpendicular to the tangent. Perpendicular, right angle perpendicular, right angle perpendicular. And again, the slope of the normal is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent. So let's have a look at one more, just to make sure you understand. So what I've drawn here, I've drawn a... Um, we could say it's sinusoidal, f of x, it could be a sine graph. So if we take the point P here and we draw a tangent, so a tangent cuts the curve at one point. There it is, tangent here. And we go perpendicular to that. We have, making sure, at point P, so to label that, this is the point of tangency, this is the tangent right here, and perpendicular to that at a right angle, this is the normal, and the normal line is perpendicular to tangent, again the two of them have the negative reciprocals of each other. So that's just defining what a normal is in relation to a normal line relation.
configuration to occur perpendicular to the tangent. And if you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained, just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.